In this video, I'm going to talk about last in, first out, and first in, first out. And as you can see right down here, last in, first out, first in, first out. Now before I begin, I wanted to say that this has nothing to do with a nursery rhyme where it goes, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. If you're thinking that, forget it. It has nothing to do with that. These are accounting terms, alright? Now, what are these accounting terms? Well, let's take, for instance, somebody that's going to open up a bicycle shop. So they go out and they buy $10,000 worth of bicycles and bring it into the shop so later on they can sell them, okay? Now, let's say they go and sell a whole bunch of these bicycles. Well, then they're going to need more inventory because they're running out of bicycles to sell the, to the consumer. So they go out and they try to buy another $10,000 worth of bicycles. Well, here's the problem. Not only have retail prices gone up since the last time they bought those bicycles, but also wholesale prices have gone up since they bought those bicycles. Remember, in our society, things go up, usually. Now, sometimes they go down, but most of the time they go up. All right, so now the company is paying more for the bicycles than what they were when they first started out. Now this looks pretty good on accounting statements when you're trying to show that you have unbelievable assets and you're trying to show profitability and you're trying to get people to invest in your company. So what you want to do is you want to have first in, first out which means that the first set of bicycles you bring in at $10,000 is the ones that you sold and then the next set of bicycles that cost $15,000 are the next ones to be sold and so on and so forth. This is called first in, first out. The very second you receive them, that's when you start selling them and if you bring more in, you're still selling the ones that you brought in originally and then you sell the next one. But the problem becomes when the tax man shows up. Well, boy, your company looks profitable. So then he says, all right, we're going to tax you heavily because of it. Well, once your company becomes profitable enough, you don't want the tax man just gathering a whole bunch of taxes and taking all, all your profits away. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to show that your company is not making as much profit. So then you want to clean out as many of those higher priced assets as you possibly can to show that your company's not making as much profit. That's where last in, first out comes into play. So what you're saying is that we're selling our most expensive uh, inventory first, then we're selling the cheaper stuff later on. And by doing so, you reduce the profitability of your company and therefore the tax man doesn't get as much money from you. All right, so that's basically the difference between last in and first out and first in is first out. You'll see this if you start investing into companies. When they first start up, they look very profitable and they'll use first in, first out to demonstrate this. However, later on, they'll switch to last in, first out so that they can in turn avoid paying a ton of taxes. All right, that basically covers the subject. If you have any further questions, leave a comment right down here and I will answer them. I will share more with you in a future video, so stay tuned.